when I was just a child, I always loved to have a farm for myself. And uh, as it is not accessible in real life for me for now to have a farm for myself, I just go and play farm games every single seconds of my life. I played so many farm games, every genre, every kind of farm games, simulations, just a storytelling RPG, every kind of farm games I've just played. And if just like me, you love farm games, we are going to count down top 10 best farm games out there to play solo or your virtual friend. My name is Abulan, let's dive to the video. Number 10. Farmer Farm Simulator. Farm Simulator is a series of games that are, as the name suggests, you know, totally based on farming. These games have been launched almost yearly since Farming Simulator 2008, taking a more realistic approach to farming sims. In these games, you, you know, run a farm, grow crops, raise animals, and then sell all products you harvest for a profit. If you want a you know, serious farming experience, this series is perfect. And it's hard, you know. I love farming games, but, you know, Farming Simulator never was easy for me. And it's available for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Switch, and your mobile. Can you believe this? I don't care if you can't believe this. Number 9. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin On the surface, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin might seem like it's primarily a side-scroller fighting game. However, given that you play as a harvest goddess named Sakuna, it makes sense that farming would be a big part of the story too. The game is essentially split into two different genres, hack and slash levels and farming scene. That's part of what makes this game so unique and exciting to play. Actually, Sakuna Rise and Ruin is available on PC, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, you can go test it. Farming in this game can seem a lot more complicated than other farming sims. You have to pay close attention to things like how much you water the rice, what kinds of things you put in the fertilizer, and other more realistic aspects. This results in different kinds of rice growing on your farm. And each kind of rice actually changes the way that Sakuna fight after she eats it. <laughs> Amazing. He says the Kappa has friends. They were captured by a demon at the lake in the valley and he wants Number 8. Sun Heaven. This indie gem has flown under the radar for a surprisingly long time not really gaining much attention until it had its official 1.0 release in early 2023. Sun Heaven takes place in a classic high fantasy style land where magic is as common as having a good singing voice. You play as a recent arrival who moved into the farmland right outside of town through farming, mining and some adventurous combat. You uncover the secrets of Sun Heaven and restore the balance of nature. Wow. Sun, <laughs> you can do so much in the game. Sun Heaven offers a deceptively deep experience with an impressive amount of variety of multiple mechanics. When not farming, you're mining and forging gear, armor, and numerous type of furniture. You can learn magic, go fishing, explore, and befriend the locals from the three different towns. And yes, you can romance and marry many of them. Yeah, go go. Good luck with that. Number 7. Story of Season. Yeah, lovely franchise. Story of Seasons, Pioneers of the Olive Town. Pioneers of Olive Town is another title in the Story of Season series, offering the same fan-loved feature as its predecessors. You inherit your grandfather's old farm and can fix it up as usual. Expanding the farm size, growing crops, raising animals and more, you are also able to begin romantic relationship with characters and even start your own families as other, you know, a story of seasons. You can also purchase expansion pass for the game, which has regular updates that add new content, including additional marriage candidates, 
you know, you can marry more people. And characters feature in previous Harvest Moon Story of Season titles. Number six, Farm Together. Yeah, come on. Farm Together is a brilliant farming scene that can be played solo or with friends. While the gameplay mechanics get pretty in depth when it comes to this title, it is still managed to have more relaxed style. The game uses a real-time system so it continues even when you are not playing. There's a wealth of features available, as well as growing and tending to your crops. You can also, you can take care of animals, expand your farm, unlock new buildings and furnishing and more. Number 5. What the 5? Little Wood. Little Wood is a relaxing, expansive and colorful RPG made by Sin Young, who you may know as an artist for the Kindergarten game series. Three Mice of the Game starts with a scenario that you might not have thought about before. After an RPG hero saves a day, what happens to area that were impacted by villain tax? With this setup, you become that hero, but you can now help rebuild the town of Solemne. So much of this game is open to the freedom and to change the landscape and explore with ease. You'll meet lovable characters who will ask you for your help. And you get to farm, craft, and overall just having a great time improving your life in Solemne. Number 4. Terraria. Terraria is a building game. That was originally launched in 2011 for PC, but has since ported to other formats too. This game has a super open world setting, allowing you to do basically anything you want. Much like Minecraft, you know, from what 2D, from this angle. Whether it's staying at home to garden and grow a variety of crops, or going out into the world to explore and gather materials, it's all up to you and your own creativity. Huh? You can do anything. Speaks of Minecraft. Number 3, Minecraft. Minecraft has become one of the biggest games out there, which is no surprise due to the sheer size of the unlimited fun of its open world sandbox. Minecraft continues to receive regular updates, adding new features, creatures, and more like, you know, Wolf Update recently added. You can have Colorful wolf. Wow. Really like delightful as well. So we hope that you're really, really gonna enjoy the new wolf variant. I know I will. See you next month. Guys, do some serious stuff out there. You have updates about wolves? Come on. Okay. While most people associate Minecraft with building, farming is also a large part of it too. And you can easily while away the hours building and, and cultivating a range of different farms. <laughs> Number two, we're getting excited about that. My time at Porsche. My time at Porsche originally launched in 2019 and has become a pretty popular indie simulation game since. In this game, you inhabit a past old workshop and are tasked with restoring it back to its former glory by growing crops, helping the people in town and raising animals. Alongside farming, the game also allows you to explore the mines, take part in festivals in a town of Portia, go fishing, play fun minigames, and cultivate romantic relationships with some of the local townspeople. But before we dive to the last one, I really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. If you did not by now, and like the video. And my name is Abelon. Thank you for watching the video. Let's dive to the last one. Number <coughs> one, Saru Valley. <laughs> You're sick of hearing that, huh? Saru Valley is an indie game that's available on multiple different platforms. This game is similar to other popular farming sim series such as Harvest Moon, and inspired by Harvest Moon actually heavily, in that it doesn't have a heavy emphasis on farming. It also puts a lot of focus on befriending and building relationships with people in the nearby town. In this game, you are tasked with taking over your late grandfather's farm as Harvest Moon. There you have crops and animals to raise. 
while helping to restore the nearby town by doing quests and completing various objectives, you can farm and farm and farm and farm and farm actually the Staru Valley is unlimited. You can be in the Staru Valley in Pelican Town for years and years just farming and farming and farming. Thank you everyone for this episode.